we're going to talk about EDC medical or your everyday carry medical. You may be wondering, why do I need everyday medical on my person? Isn't having some medical gear in my vehicle or calling 911 good enough? Well, just imagine you're on a long walk somewhere. It doesn't even have to be outside of town. Let's just say I fall and break something or someone attacks me with a knife or a gun and maybe I was able to fend them off with my own pistol, but maybe I got shot in the process and I need a tourniquet and I need it now. Or maybe all of a sudden a squirrel out of nowhere comes and bites you, draws blood. You gotta use medical equipment immediately. What are you gonna do? Do you have medical on you? Can you treat your wound? Having medical is probably just as important, I would argue, as having a pistol with you and you're probably way more likely to use your medical than you are your pistol but I definitely highly recommend using both. Being your own first responder in my opinion is the best way to kind of mitigate those dangers that we we face in our everyday life. Let's go ahead and dive to the table and take a look at what we've got. I just wanted to go over some of the items that I've accumulated over the years and have recently gotten for my everyday carry medicals. None of these items were given to me. I purchased all of them with my own hard earned cash. I'm not trying to push any one particular product. I did buy the different color variations just so you guys could see on camera and then also some of these are going out as gifts to my family and friends so you may not know who you are but you will eventually. <laughs> so I've been running the Riker Nylon for quite some time. It's an ankle medical kit and I really like it. It's held up really well. It just goes around your ankle like so. It's not comfortable right up against your skin, so I usually wear high socks or I use a handkerchief. And then you've got your hyphen vent seals, rats tourniquet, trauma shears, and then another tourniquet. That's a pretty capable little package. It definitely is a good option. There's other brands on the market. I definitely highly encourage you to check that out if you'd like to consider running an ankle medical kit. All these products here, save for these, are from LTC, so Live the Creed. And I really like Multicam Black, and so what I've got here, I'll just quickly show you what comes in it. So the Quick Clot, I've also got SWAT T tourniquet, a pair of, I think it's large gloves, and then you've got some adhesive bandages, some uh, antibiotic ointment. The bulkiest thing in here is a SWAT T, but I definitely would consider keeping that in the kit if you're trying to cut down on bulk. I would recommend maybe deleting more of the quick clot. Although you can't tourniquet every area of the body, so these really do complement each other really well. So I'll probably just end up running it for now. Um, one thing you can do is just run this individually. Another item that I got because I believe in tourniquets so much is this little direct action tourniquet holder. So there's enough room for decompression needle or I chose to just put a metallic silver Sharpie on there. Most people wear dark colored clothes. You can write the time on their pants or even their skin what time you applied the tourniquet and so I've been running this for a couple days now and it's really comfortable I put it on my non-dominant side over by my spare mag and it kind of blends in perfectly I also have a pair of gloves shoved in there as well and so I'll probably end up running both of these items in conjunction that way I have a soft tea tourniquet a SWAT tea tourniquet quick clot gloves and then some basic bandages and the reason for that is you never know what you're going to come across and so it might seem really bulky but the fact that people carry super heavy items in their waistband all the time and they spend a lot of time and money training with them and perfecting them and so I definitely think if you're going to be carrying this you should absolutely be carrying this. I definitely would recommend carrying everyday medical. Some of this stuff may look a little bulky in your pocket, but hey, I think most guys have more room in their pants than they're willing to admit. <laughs> so right here, I've got the LTC pocket medical kit. It is pretty bulky, I have to admit. So, I mean, Superman pose. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, there's definitely some girth in the pocket. Girth in the pocket? Got my spare mag, got the tourniquet and the sharpie there. Got my everyday pistol there. It definitely works for me. 
if it's too much bulk for you guys, you could definitely consider, you know, putting these items in a purse or a fanny pack or cargo pocket. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about everyday carry medical. So you may have your thousand dollar Gucci gun in your waistband, but what happens when your loved one needs medical treatment and they need it right now? And while you might have your cell phone in your pocket to call 911, they're not gonna make it. So not only having medical supplies on your person is critical, but also training with them and knowing how to use it. Just practicing with a tourniquet and your medical gear could mean the difference between life and death for you or your loved ones. And I'd definitely recommend getting proper training if you can afford it and find the time to do so. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on future videos. Look at this tree. What does that remind you of? <laughs> she needs a tram.